Are you praying, Hikari? Don't waste your breath. If you're going to pray, pray for the ones fighting for their lives, not those already in the dirt. I didn't come here to pray. I came here to remember. To remember the friends who gave their lives on the altar of our mission. <clears throat> Today, I fight for them. It's time, my prince. Then let's join the fray, Ritsu. Don't soil your britches, Ikari. I would worry about yourself. <laughs> My name will be remembered by history. I'll etch it upon the heavens themselves. I won't die in a hellhole like this. Well said, Ritsu. Let us press on, for the glory of Ku! Now it begins. It's my turn. Take this. Here I come. Forward, Ritsu. I... Hmm. Prince Hikari's display has put the fear of death into them. Now for the finishing touch. Our time has come at last. Clan Ku shall rise from the desert as its ruler. General Mugen, you lead the pride of our military. The nation of Ku's fiercest soldiers ride at your back. Become the Tempest and scatter those southern dogs to the winds. The sand shall wait for the time to strike and follow. And when the fury of the storm subsides, our enemies will be smothered and buried. A brilliant strategy as always, Kazar. Your keen eyes see the battlefield as none other, Eagle of Ku. May you have luck on the battlefield. Luck has no place here. Only strength reigns supreme. And the mighty shall build their castles upon the corpses of the weak. <laughs> Cut them to ribbons! Bring the fury of the desert upon them! <laughs> now, you southern birds shall know the vast gulf between our strengths! He's inhuman! Call the demon of Ku, General Mogan! Ageha! Aye! Does your will to live burn so faintly, curse? Raise your weapons or be trampled beneath me! Saji! 
Eyes forward, Hikari. Keep going. Steal yourself. Are you hurt, Hikari? The noble sands of Ku dance at your back, and they know no fear. Not a single enemy shall pass through our storm. Raimei, stay close to me. Keep moving. It's my turn. Take this! Now it begins. What's our plan of attack? Here I come. Yeah. Your fate was sealed the moment you stood against us. Wait, Sue, wait! We've won. There's no need for further bloodshed. He got it. Ah, here we are. It's the enemy general. Now to prove your medal, Hikari. Hmm. I shall honor the memory of my fallen allies. My blade will not waver. Now you pay the price for your tyranny, bastards of Ku! It's time to finish this. Come. Prepare yourself, Hikari. It's my turn. Prepare yourself. My blade sinks. What's our plan of attack? My turn. It's my turn. What? Stay down. Now I fight for my son. What's our plan? The heavens stir. Oh, that's true. For the glory of Clan Med. It's over. No. We won't. We won't leave the desert in your clutches. The accursed clan must be... Sympathy to the enemy, and you tarnish the name Ku in the process. The enemy general is slain! Victory is ours!
your majesty. Today's glory was paid for with the blood of many. But victory is ever an occasion for celebration, Mugen Hikari. Our enemies have been put to heel, their forces crushed under our might. The nation of Ku shall know prosperity untold. Your Majesty. Hikari. I tire of this heat. Brother, what was the enemy general speaking of? He called us the accursed clan. Is it true? Are we? Put it out of your mind. A half-blood like you needn't worry about such things. Can you hear it too? That voice? Hmm. General Mugen, go with glory. It was your sword that cut the path to victory. You fought fiercely this day. What is your name? It's Ritsu Mishuyo, my lord. Compassion has no place in Ku Hikari. You are unfit to stand among us. Your brother's wrong, you know. We wouldn't have made it to the enemy general without you. You don't need to flatter me. I didn't do it alone. How long have we known each other? And not once have I bested you at swordplay. You may be the prince, I, but it was by dint of strength that you were made captain. It's all a lowborn urchin like me could hope for to simply be allowed in your presence. Don't be ridiculous, Ritsu. You'll always have a place by my side. <laughs> Is that so? I'll try to keep up then. You can count on it. We live to fight another day, it seems. The battle was long and trying. Let us dedicate this victory to the countrymen we lost today. It was an honor to have you with me, Raimei. House Mei is the spear of Ku. We are to be wielded against its enemies. Oh, may I be welcomed among this vaunted company? Of course, Kazan. Without your cunning strategy, we may have very well been buried under the sands. Victory is the sweetest libation. Or so they say. I wager tonight's drink shall be sweet indeed. We can't toast yet, Kazan. The road ahead will be long and fraught with battle. Drinks will have to wait. If you insist, my prince, I see war has only tempered your commitment to duty. Still, promise me that when our conflicts are behind us, we'll raise glasses in celebration. Consider it done.
Lord Hikari, working up a sweat today, I see. If we didn't say anything, I reckon you'd train until the sun set. I'd be glad to. It's a sign that peace yet prevails. Can't argue with that. <laughs> Lord Hikari, think you could teach me how to swing a sword like you do? If you wish. That may be merely a piece of wood, but don't think you'll have any mercy. Huh? Your stance isn't bad. Now bring in your arms. <laughs> You should stop this, my lord. Were you seen teaching sword work to this manner of folk? This manner of folk? They're my friends. They're not your friends, my prince. They're lowborns who scavenge for rotten food. They're a stain on our nation. They are citizens of Ku, not unlike yourself, and you will show them the respect they deserve. I... Apologies, my lord. That'll teach you to talk back to our lord. Thank you, Lord Hikari. We haven't had a lord that looks out for us like that before. No thanks are needed. All citizens of our nation deserve equal respect. The Lord Hikari! What is it, Suki? A brawl has broken out at the tavern. It's one of Lord Mugen's men. He's out of control! Understood. Let us be on our way. Do you know who I am? I'm a captain, appointed by Lord Mugen himself. The wars have been over for years. That armor won't earn you any special treatment around here. Is this the rowdy customer? Lord Hikari, you're just in time. So this is where you've been since you were driven from the castle, huh? Prince Hikari, consorting with lowlifes. Suppose that's what happens when your family forsakes you. You've got some nerve! <laughs> the king grows weak, his mind frail. He can barely lift his sword. 
It won't be long until General Mugen assumes the throne. So you better fill my cup if you know what's good for you. In the name of the future king! I think you've had quite enough. What do you want? If it's a brawl you want, I'll be your opponent. You've drawn your sword. Now be prepared for the consequences. On your guard. Prepare yourself. How's this? Here I come. My spear does not err. My turn. My blade sings. Now it has my end. My blade sinks. I still have much to learn. By the... Tempest! Now, leave. I won't ask again. <sighs> That's our lord! Apologies for the mess. Drink in peace. Lord Hikari, thank you. You needn't thank me. It is my duty. We're blessed that you were appointed to watch over our town. There's been more smiles all around ever since. Oh, it's been too long, Your Highness. Benke, is that you? I can't remember the last time you visited alone. Is something amiss? Uh. My prince, I must ask that you visit me at the Western Keep. I can say no more. All will be explained upon your arrival. Very well. I won't be long. Thank you, my prince. I will await you there.
Majesty. Why have you left the castle? I would have come if called. This is the only place where we would not be heard. Hikari, I have devoted my life to expanding our borders. Many a dawn has been stained crimson by my ambition. I realize that it has all led to nothing. Hikari, I would ask you. Friends. Friends that will grow together with us. Allies that hold the same ideals as us. With that, we could realize a world without conflict. Without bloodshed. I charged you with overseeing the city, so that I could take your measure, Hikari. And I do not find you lacking in the least. You've brought joy to the people. Community. Hikari. I want you to be the next king of Ku. Your majesty, are you? I'm not worthy. My brother, he... He is consumed by the same ambition that led me astray. He would see the world kneel before him. <sighs> there is a plot stirring among his troops. We must act with haste. I shall make the proper arrangements and do what I can to keep Mugen's machinations at bay. Please consider what is at stake, Hikari. Father... I too hope that you will take up the mantle of King, Lord Hikari. <sighs> A king? Me? Father spoke of a plot among Mugen's troops. What is he planning? I need to get to the bottom of this. Someone in the city must know something. Secrets have a way of revealing themselves. He might be the one. A merchant flourishing in the shadow of the castle. If anyone can tell me what goes on inside its walls, surely it would be him. Although I can't expect his information to come for free. this do? Ah. 
I should like to know what's going on at the castle. Have you heard anything during one of your deliveries, perhaps? Ah, the young prince. I believe I can be of service. However, I'll have you know that it comes at no small risk to my person. You'll be fairly compensated. Is this enough? Ah, our lord knows well the ways of the world. I've heard rumors that unusually large shipments of weapons have been delivered to the castle as of late. Soldiers get chatty during long watches, you see. They say General Mugen meets with this arms merchant upon the crest of heroes. Mugen may be stoking the embers of war. So father was right. I have to ask him myself, look Mugen in the eye. If that merchant's words hold any salt, then I'll find him at the Crest of Heroes. Prepare yourself. Huh. Now! <laughs> now it be- yeah. <laughs> Prepare yourself. I fight for my- <laughs> For the pride of Ku. My turn. It's over. There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my sword. Prepare yourself. Here I come. Time to strike. Prepare. I'll end this. I still have much to learn. There's no need for flattery. 
It'll rust my sword. Here. I suppose I'll wait a while longer. If the rumors of Mugen's ambitions are true, then he must be stopped. You called upon me, your majesty. For centuries has the sword of our clan struck down our foes. Their blood has stained the desert red, and our nation has become great in turn. Glory through sacrifice, such are the words that guide Clan Ku. Morgan, I ask you, what do you want for our nation? Strength. For only the strong can herd the droves of the weak. Such is the way of the world. Strength reigns supreme, always. <sighs> Morgan, my son. I called you here to discuss succession of the throne. I know. You've come to a decision. You mean to abdicate to my brother, to give Hikari your crown? What? You are old, your majesty. But worry not, by my hand shall its glory be restored, its strength. It's been too long, Hikari. In case you were wondering, you can call me Captain now. To think, I once looked up to you. Now fate seems to have brought you low. Ritsu, what are you doing here? You were expecting someone else? Lord Mugen, perhaps? And this arms merchant? It was a trap. One you were all too eager to walk into. The king is dead, and the era of Lord Mugen begins. The city. What have you... Ah, it started already. Let me pass, Ritsu. While you were fritting your time away with commoners, greater men were taking action. Our nation cries out for change, 
and Lord Mugen will bring it. I'm sad to say, you have no place in his coup. You'll die here, Hikari. What's gotten into you, Ritsu? I have to follow the strongest. I told you history would remember my name. Lord Mugen has promised me it will echo through generations. When I present him with your head, I'll be granted a place by his side. <sighs> so you see, it's nothing personal, Hikari. I must protect my people. So I say once more, and once more only, Let me pass. That's the spirit. Time to claim your spot on this hill. Let's see. I can still fight. I need this. My turn. My blade sinks. <laughs> Prepare yourself. My blade sinks. <laughs> Allow me. I can still fight. I need this. My turn. How's this? Now it begins. Out of my way, because... Prepare yourself. Now, I'll end this. It's over. Allow me. I can still fight. I need this. Here I come. Look well, Hikai. My turn. Out of my way, Ritsu. How's this? Time to strike. Here I come.
I need this. My turn. My spear does not err. You're dead! Prepare yourself. I fight for my friends. My blade is safe. Now! My turn. Allow me. Now it begins. How's this? Look well, Hikari. Here I come. I'm sorry. My turn. Now I go to my place! I can still fight. I need this. Now it begins. I need this. My turn. My blade sinks. You're dead! Look well, Hikai. Now it begins. Now I go to my place! Prepare yourself. My blade sinks. Now, out of my way, Ritsu. Allow me. Fight dirty. The city burns. I must help. Don't let their screams distract you, Hikari. You never did take me seriously. But I'll show you how far I've come. If you want to save them, you'll have to cut through me first. Leave me no choice. <sighs> You're dead! <clears throat> Not this time. I can still fight. Look well, he got I need this. Now I go to my place. Prepare yourself. My blood boils. I'll end this. Ten minutes up. I still have much to learn. Always in the same. You're always one step ahead. <sighs> what are you staring at? Finish this. Do it. It's done. Hikari.
You can't deny the blood flowing through your veins. Cut into him. Soak the ground red. Silence. Go away. Go away! What? Who the hell are you talking to? My lord, you're safe. Suki. The soldiers set fire to the castle. I'm afraid the city is. Lord Heikari, save our kingdom. Only your gentle hands can guide us back. Mercy for you, Mugen. Stay frail, as is the nation you lead. But worry not. By my hand shall its glory be restored, its strength. Hmm. I must ask, why, Hikari? What could such a soft heart achieve? Ikari has all the makings of a great king. And what would those be? A brute such as you would never understand. And you do. The king who threw down his sword and cowered in the trappings of peace. Everything you built was only an illusion. I shall build a castle that will stand eternal, and your corpse shall be its cornerstone.
father! Hikari... Will you... lead our nation? I will. I will be king. And I'll set Ku free of this bloodshed. Wukan is too strong. You cannot hope to face him alone. Run. Gather your strength, your allies. Only then can you restore the light to our nation. His final words prove his weakness, that he would hoist his unfulfilled ambitions on the shoulders of another. Only I am fit to be king. And I shall see the fires of war engulf the world. Same world that father lived in his whole life. A world he regretted making. But he came to believe in my vision. A vision for a world not forged by war, but shaped by fellowship. Enjoy your grip on Ku while you can, Mugen. I'll take the throne back and build a country father would have been proud of. Not a coward like you. <laughs> Why, Mugen? Why did you set fire to the homes of innocence? Somehow you've won their love. They might have opposed my rule after your untimely demise. Best to burn the roots of the problem before they grow. You monster! Now don't be a fool. You know your meager skills are no match for me. I told you not to tarnish our family name. Don't die so shamefully, brother. Again? in my wall. Your Majesty, leave these curs to me. You hold the future of Ku in your hands. Your father chose to put his faith in you, and so shall I. Don't worry. It'll take more than this gang of ruffians to take Benke down. Find your erstwhile allies, and return to set us free! For two! Won't be in vain.
Did you hear about what happened in Ku? Is it as bad as they say? Seems the young prince wasn't satisfied with his lot and tried to take the throne by force. The king is dead, and the elder brother has assumed the throne. How dreadful. We've had peace for so long. My journey begins here. Gather your strength, your allies. First, I must cross the sea and journey east. To the city of scholars where Kazan resides. So I've heard. I hope your mind is still keen as a blade, Kazan. Soon, I promise. And I won't be low. Thank you.